Good afternoon and welcome to another Metal Forming Minute. My name is John Weakerchest and I'm here with Eunice Mark Cooper and we're here to discuss the alarm features of the SPR 2000. So what do you have for us today, Mark? Well, John, this is our demonstration stand, and it comes with our SPR2000 controller and a 12-inch roller unit. And the SPR2000 comes with a number of safety features for users, and I want to take a minute to go over some of those today. So as we talked about before, the SPR2000 comes with a number of different alarm features. There's a low fluid level alarm to tell the users when the tank is low on fluid. There's a low pressure alarm. There's a low flow. The system comes with flow sensors and it can tell the users if the flow rate is low through those valves. But what I want to show today is what happens when a low fluid level alarm happens and how to, how to reset the system after it comes out. Each tank with the SPR2000 comes with a low level switch and when the fluid in the tank reaches a certain level, it trips that switch. When that happens, an alarm condition is created. So once we reach a certain level, an alarm comes up and you'll see that this light comes on and it makes a, and a beeping sound. To stop the beeping sound, simply press the alarm button once and the active alarm conditions will come up. If there's an asterisk next to it, it means that it's still active and hasn't been fixed yet. And this one, we have a low fluid level. So to fix it, we refill the levels in the tank and you see the asterisk goes away. And then to get rid of the light, you press enter. Also on the SPR2000, there is an alarm relay. So this alarm feature can be tied into anything. It could sound a buzzer, it could be tied into the press controls to alert the operator the press could shut down. Anything, anything to alert the operators that there's an alarm condition. So Mark, it sounds like the SPR2000 has a number of alarm features that are gonna alert the operator before there's a problem. Yeah, that's right, John. And, uh, if anybody wants any more information, they can go to our website at www.unist.com.